Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on Crack Concepts. This is another video in the series 5 SQL queries in 5 minutes. So let's just quickly begin with the queries. Also this is beginner's level. Okay, let's start. So the first query is fetch employee name in uppercase and use alias. So all we need to do is we need to change the employee name in uppercase and give it give it a different name. Alias means a different name where we use as as. Okay, so this is the query select upper upper is a function that will be that we will use if you want to convert it to lower case we will use lower so select upper the um, the column name so employee emp underscore name in our case as employee name so here we are using the alias as and this is the name whatever you will give over here that will become the column name as employee name from whatever table it is now the second query is fetch fetch top and records in descending order now whenever we want to fetch the top and records like top three records or top five records we use select top and star now n means any number so it could be three two four five anything so select top five star from employees order by so whenever we want to order our output we use order by so order by salary whatever column name so order by salary DSC descending we uh, if we do not mention anything it will be by default ascending order but since we want it in descending order we write order by salary DSC now our third query is retrieve employee F name so employee first name and employee L name means last name employee first name and last name in a single column as full name so this is uh, an alias that we need to use first name last name separated with space now what we need to do is there are two columns first name and last name and we need to concatenate them into one single column and give it an alias full name so this is the query that we will be using select concat concat is the function that will be that we will be using select concat the first column name employee f name first name and then comma because we have to add space so we will add space over here okay so in inverted commas we will add some space and then employee l name comma employee l name so this will concatenate our first name and last name with a space in between as full name so this is the alias that we will be using from our table name employees now the fourth query is retrieve employee position that's a column name along with total salaries paid for each of them so the the main thing over here is total salaries. so we need to sum the salaries for each employee position okay so this is the query select employee position this is the column employee position sum of salary because we need to sum the salary we need the total salary so we'll use some sum of salary from our table name employees group by employee position we need to use group by employee position because we are using an aggregate function sum over here so sum of salary group by employee position so this is our fourth query now the fifth query is fetch details of employees with address as Delhi DL. So it means we need to fetch all the employees that have Delhi DL in, in the column address. So we will use like. Okay. So select star from employees where address like and we will add person person in the beginning, beginning and the end, which means anything can be before Delhi or anything can be written after Delhi okay because this is the address but it just needs to contain delhi so this is the query so like in inverted commas we write delhi and we will uh, we will write percentage at the beginning and end of it so this is our fifth query and with this we come to the end of this video so i hope you all understood all the five queries and if you all have any doubts Write it down in the comment section. I will solve those. I will try to answer all of those. And like, share and subscribe to our channel. I will be posting a lot more videos now. Thank you so much.